Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys Just here, and back yet again with yet another news video. Today we're going to be talking about all the brand new Spawn action figures from McFarlane Toys that were, we'll say, better revealed. They were already kind of told, yeah, we're getting these three, but now we got some fancy new Spawn press photos to discuss. Now, before we get into it, keep in mind, these are all relatively newer characters and then newer takes on characters... We've known for so many years. The thing I always liked about Spawn was that it was always very much its own thing. And when you start to kind of look at what's taking place now in the comics, you basically have Into the Spawniverse. You know what I mean? Like too many Spawn, Spawn characters, right? Everybody looks like Spawn. Here's a big hulking Spawn. Here's a decrepit Carnage looking Spawn. It got too Spawn heavy-handed. It was always the coolest thing when Spawn was the only hell spawn, right? I mean, from time to time, you might have these other creatures show up that might kind of sort of resemble him or be in the background, something like that. But now it's just overly blatant. And then overly blatant use of characters that we've known from other properties and such. You know what I mean? It just, it's not doing its own thing anymore. It seems to be heavily relying on everything that's nostalgic and going like, but we can do it too. And that's where it's kind of losing me in all honesty. But you didn't come here for all these nonsensical thoughts. You came here to talk about some action figures. Totally get you. And if you are interested in any said action figures we're going to be discussing today, well, I'll have pre-order links down in the description below. Hey, thanks for using my links. They'll help the channel to grow. Now, first and foremost, everybody remembers this guy, right? Good old Cogliostro, the old bearded weirdo guy that lived in the shadows of the alleyways and he was the mentor to Spawn. And that's really kind of always how I thought about Cogliostro, right? Well, then as time went on, he became a bad guy, basically. And now, in the most recent comics, he's like a super... Lex Luthor bad guy and he's lost the beard and he's got the bald cranium and he's askewed his cool hat you know what I mean it's a uh, yeah, he looks very much like Lex Luthor in a green power suit right with chains <laughs> every spawn character has to have chains in order to make you uh, understand what universe you are in but as much as I'm like well this reminds me of several different things the figure does look good right and again, as I've said, as we've looked at all these spawn figures over and over and over again, what wave are we on? We're on wave five now. Yes, I miss the old days of spawn with the real chains and everything else and how they were. This is the new age of spawn, so I'm not going to complain too much about it. It's just the times we are living in, and that's just what it is. I would totally love to go back to real chains and such. But in kind of comparing him to, let's say, the source material, I think they went a little bit too dark in the skin color for Cogliostro. I mean, he was always like a white guy. Not Again, not that that is a problem, but I don't really think that that fits the character unless they're kind of doing like the Lex Luthor from Superman the Animated Series, right? That kind of tone, right? Just to kind of, again, kind of mix better with him looking like Lex Luthor. Maybe they're going for that. But see, every kind of source material... Uh, he basically just kind of looks like that. The head portrait is is okay. I mean, it's just okay. I think they nailed the bodysuit and everything else, the chains and the cape and all that good stuff. And I love that he comes with power effects, right? So he's kind of like an energy vampire in a way. Like he's losing his necroplasm and he needs to kind of drain other beings and such. And that's really my takeaway from that. If it's more complicated, yeah, that's just like the simplified version and now kind of what I think about with Sin. So here's Sin all packaged up. He looks good. He's in that new packaging. Of course, he's got the sweet artwork. Kind of, sort of, you know what I mean? It just eh, it doesn't have that oomph that I wish it did, right? It's just like, yeah, that's, that's okay. I guess that's Sin. So again, if you want Sin, you can grab him now through my affiliate links down below. Next up, we have the basically the Hulk version of Spawn, right? See, in kind of keeping with that, let's do this version, let's do that version. This is Monolith, a big, huge, crazy looking Hell Spawn demon, right? And I have to say, as being the mega figure of this particular wave of Spawn figures, I think they actually nailed it. I think that this one is the one that I'm really excited about. One, that it's a new character. Two, 
it just looks cool. I love the skin. I love that they really went to town with the paint and everything else. The nails, everything's painted. Well, at least the toenails, not so much the fingernails. But he's got the big old skulled shoulders. He's got the skulls going down the middle of his face. It's a crazy design, but I think it's a design that really translates into action figure form. And that's really where McFarlane Toys always excelled is in making these crazy demon monster characters and this guy looks like a lot of fun now hopefully he is a big hulking monster of a figure he is a mega figure but then omega spawn was also a mega figure and he was very much a small guy compared to what he should have been like as we see in the comics so nice colors all the way around nice paints for what i see hopefully he comes out looking as good as he does in these promo press photos here he is all in the packaging again it's that ginormous box and I think that that's where, again, you kind of lose me. This, if it's going to be a mega figure, give him real chains. Put the chains and everything else on these more expensive $50 figures. He doesn't come with any accessories. He just comes with a dinky little stand that doesn't really work for mega figures. You know what I mean? Powers, effects, something like that has to be put in this box. Because even though the figure looks fantastic, like, yeah, A-OK -okay, number one, this is... Spawn. This is McFarlane Toys' baby. This is their moneymaker. This is the 90s epitome of awesomeness, right? You gotta, you gotta throw that in there, right? About the 90s. It just doesn't have the oomph. And when we looked at the last wave of figures, it was clearly evident. Some things were great, and a lot more was kind of, ah, oh, man, this is just not working. So at $50, you need to start putting more in the box. Because as of right now, this is going to be, yeah, I, I think he's awesome. I think he looks great, but he will be picked up on a clearance rack. Which then finally brings us to the third figure of this new wave, the Medieval Spawn. And it's a little bit of a different take for me on the Medieval Spawn. It depends on really who is drawing Medieval Spawn, all different variations, especially with what they're doing now in comics. So this is relatively the newish take for Medieval Spawn, and I know a lot of people are going to say, well, didn't he tease a Kickstarter? Well, as far as we are aware, right, there should be, or hopefully still is, a Kickstarter coming, right? This figure looks pretty good, I have to say. It's not exactly what I would want with a Medieval Spawn. I have a gorgeous Medieval Spawn from what series, Spawn Series 20, the old way, the original line, Chains, big huge shield all that kind of stuff right this one is very much utilizing everything nowadays and kind of going oh, we'll cut this we'll do this so yes again not to nitpick overly because we're not getting these things anymore for the price points that they're offering at but that's where real chains the real heavily applied paint apps bring these spawn characters to life and while he does have paint while he does look good it's just still again not having that oomph that i want from my spawn line right i'm happy that he comes with a bunch of weapons that's good to see on the back side you can clearly see what i'm talking about you have a really nice cape which then goes into two skulls the skulls are the exact same color as the cape we know that's not the case obviously he would have different colored skulls the skulls are not part of the cape they're holding the cape to his costume and also i hope that there is space somewhere in the back right there to put said weapons because on the box he's clearly doing that now here he is all packaged up he comes with a big axe sort of deal with a ball peen kind of thing going on to it and then you got a big sword there's no shield there's no energy effects this is a 25 dollars figure i honestly would expect just a little bit more to this you know what i mean yeah like I really appreciate that for the most part. Yes, these are all new one-off sculpts, right? Very cool. I love seeing that. But then it's not getting us the whole totality of the figure, what we think about with these types of figures. Because you can see on the back, this is where this particular spawn kind of hails from. And that looks amazing. We got those level of paint apps and everything else like we used to, right? Not to go heavily retread into that whole situation. But you get what I'm saying here. It doesn't have the oomph that the old figures used to have and now it seems like we're getting even less so it's a great looking figure from afar but when you start to kind of look at it up close and go okay well this this you know what i mean it just kind of fumbles into that sort of realm unfortunately so again if you'd like medieval spawn this version 
you can go ahead and pre-order him now. So that will wrap it up for my thoughts on the brand new wave of Spawn's Universe by McFarlane Toys. Again, wave five, if I'm not too mistaken, or if I say the wrong wave number again, I think, last time. Uh, yeah, we all remember that. Anyways, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Spawn. Which characters would you like to see, or at least redone, or... Maybe even to that point where we get, uh, you know, at a higher price point, but they really go to town and really deco the heck out of these things. You know what I mean? Real chains and all. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, again, as I always say, eBay, Mercari, all those things have some of the greatest spawn figures that you can buy on there. And they exist. And they're a whole heck of a lot of fun. Just going to say. Go watch my videos. I have a lot on those. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.